Breaking news. Olusegun Obasanjo endorses our very own Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. Yes, they may not be in the same party. We know that uh, 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 Olusegun Obasanjo has tore his membership uh, ticket, uh, uh, card in relation to the People Democratic Party over issues between himself and uh, Good Luck Billy Jonathan. There were accusation, counter accusation that uh, good lucky Billy Jonathan was about to do something to him, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, we saw that Olusegun Obasanjo tore his, you know, tore his, uh, his membership uh, card to the People Democratic Party. The vice president, on the other hand, Professor Yemio Sibanjo, is of the people of the All Progressive Congress, which is called the APC. And we've seen that... Uh, the uh, national leader Shiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu has also now uh, has also indicated interest to run for the party. But guess what? Prominent Nigerians and well-thinking people have been thinking about it, and the consensus has been that Osiba and Joe, you know, from some quarters, may be the candidate that will potentially be able to lead the country arise. Why some other persons have said, you know, Tinubu or whichever candidate they deem it fit. So, Olusha Guabasanjo's son has gone to see some senators. That is to tell you that him and his father are one. And I said, you know what? We personally think the person to run this country after Buhari will be the vice president. Let's get all the details. 2023, ex-president Olusha Guabasanjo's son visited me, pleaded support for the vice president. Senator Ujudu reveals. Ujudu's Olu Jonwon, son of former President Olu Shegwa Basanjo, has pleaded for, with Nigerians that everyone should support Professor Yemi Osibanjo's son if he joins and makes his intention known for the 2023 race. The special advisor to the President on Political Matters, Baba Femi Ojodu, made this known on a Facebook page on Saturday. According to Ojodu, Olu Jonwo visited him on Friday to register for his wish for the vice president to run for the president of this country in 2023. He said the vice president is one of the most qualified persons that could potentially transform the course of Nigeria and make things better. Ojodu, who worked in the vice president's office, wrote Olu Jonwo, Obasanjo, son of the former President of Nigeria, Olusha Gobasanjo, visited me yesterday on Friday. He too, like many others, came to register his wish and aspiration for the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo to throw his heart into the ring for the 2023 contest. Smart and booming with ideas, he promised that if uh, Osibanjo hears he the call of Nigerians, he will be willing and ready to volunteer to join the campaign train and ensure that Nigerians vote him. I will work for him. Thank you, Olu. I will pass your message to the vice president. Newsman has reported Olu, o, Ojodu said he had been receiving threat message from other groups for declaring that they won't support the presidential ambition of the national leader, Tinubu. Ojodu, who stressed that his decision not to support Tinubu was based on personal conviction, added, any one who is wise, who wants true democracy, we see the truth. In an earlier statement, Ojudu, who has said that his refusal to support the presidential aspiration of the former Lagos State governor should not portray him as a betrayer, but he does not believe in the former Lagos State governor being Nigerian's president. So my wonderful people, uh, this is Olusha Gwabas and Joson, who has gone to you know, make it known that he wants to support, he wants to support uh, uh, the vice president. And that the vice president should indicate interest. Remember that the vice president has not officially declared his interest for this position. No, he has not. The vice president has not. He hasn't come out to tell Nigerians that I want to run for the position. However, we know that Ashiwaja Mebola Tinubu has made his interest known already. He's gone to see Buhari and has, you know, indicated interest already. Now, that being said, Tinubu, you know, is out of the country. Olusha Basanjo, people from his own party, 
the People Democratic Party came to see him, begging him to return and to support them so that um, they could potentially have a position to win, you know, uh, you know, with Nigerians, people who believe that the former president will have, will support good governance, you know. Uh, he may not have openly supported uh, the vice president, but this is to show that this is where his heart lies. You know, if you, if for instance, I will speak as a lady, you have various proposals before you, yes? Say, for instance, let's not make it too complicated. Four different guys have proposed. And um, maybe you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, you've gone to pray, you've gone to, you've spoken to elders, your parents, and um, the four of them look potentially, you know, and you are making consultation, you are asking questions, you are doing all that. If you are a Christian or Muslim, they would ask you to go and pray. And if you have good parents, no one would choose out of the four from you, for you. No. The best thing to do to that person who is in that dilemma is the person should check inside of them. You know, you can, you can lie to everybody. You can't lie to yourself. The conviction will come from within. You will know who the person is. You will know. You will know. Inside of you, you know. Even if we are saying, ah... It is a Mecca. Somebody is saying, and I think Jide is very, very nice. That's why they say, ah, Ali, Ali is a very nice person. Or they is saying, ah, James. Ah, anybody that will marry James, we know that. Inside of you, you know who. You know. You speak to the four of them. You know who. People may be saying what they want to say. They may be advising you and giving you counsels here and there. At the end of the day, inside of you, you know who. So Nigerians... I want to put it to us, inside of us, Nigerians, we know who, okay, of all those who have been indicating interest, we know who among these people, among these persons, could potentially, you know, really give us that desire that Nigerians have been crying for and clamoring for, a change, a better government, a better life for the people. We all know, but we all pretend like we, you know, we don't care. Doesn't matter who stays there. Let Nigeria remain the way it is. That's not the way forward. We can't, we can't make progress with such. We can't go very far with such. We can't. So if we really want change, we really want truth, we must get the truth if that's what we want. Okay? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.